Yes, we are going to learn about the flags and we will tell you what are the interesting facts of the flags. First, the little horse will tell you the names of the flag. Okay, little horse, tell the children which country's flag is this. This is Sweden. And this one? South Africa. And this one? Australia. And this one? China. And this one? Pakistan. Few people know about the stories behind the flag. So today we are going to tell you about the stories of the flag. Okay, so this one is the Sweden flag. The flag of Sweden consists of yellow or gold Nordic cross. The Nordic cross design traditionally represents Christianity and uh, the blue represents justice, loyalty, truth, vigilance and perseverance. Now this is the South African flag. So the flag is a symbol of the union of African and European cultures. Red, yellow and green are also Pan-African colors. The only symbolism recognized by the law is why. This shape symbolizes the convergence of diverse elements of the country and the journey ahead towards unity. Okay, now the Australian flag. Okay, the flag has three elements on a blue background, the Union Jack, the Commonwealth Star and the Southern Cross Blue. The Union Jack is a white Commonwealth or Federation Star. It has seven points representing the unity of six states and the territories of the Commonwealth of Australia. Okay, so this is Chinese flag. The biggest star represents China itself. The four smaller stars represent the social classes of China. The working class, the peasants, the urban middle class, and the national Bergiozi. The five stars and their relationship represents the unity of Chinese people under the leadership of the Communist, Communist Party of China. Okay, so this is the flag of Pakistan and uh, it was designed by Amiruddin Kadwai. So the combined star and the crescent serve as a symbol of Islam with the crescent representing progress and the five pointed star representing light and knowledge. The flag symbolizes Pakistan's commitment to both Islam as well as the rights of religious minorities. Okay, so these are the stories behind the flags which we have told you. If you want another information about the flags or anything else, you can comment us below. So don't forget to subscribe us and comment us and like us. Keep in touch with the Montessori illustrations. Thank you. Bye-bye.